Well, this is it. I just registered for an open level USTA tournament and I'm going to tell you where it is and when it is, but first I'd like to explain why I'm doing this and what it means for this YouTube channel. If that sounds exciting, do me a favor, click the like button. It helps the channel, helps the video. I appreciate it so much. Let's get right into it. I really did just sign up for a tournament. I'm going to reveal all the details in just a moment, but first let me explain why I'm doing this. And I'm going to need your feedback. I'm going to need your help too, because I want all of us to kind of be in on this adventure together. I started off at 10 years old, just super passionate about the game of tennis. And from 10 until 21, when I graduated college, all I cared about was becoming the best tennis player possible. This was me in college playing the NCAA regional tournament in Michigan with my good friend, Jason. But as a high school player, as a college player, all I cared about was developing my game, working on my strokes. I had a huge passion for just being out there fighting on the court, working hard, developing myself. And that occupied 10 years of my life. And then after graduating college, I knew there's no way I was going to play tennis professionally. So I started my teaching career, which I was also hugely passionate about. And so that's been the last 20 years of my life, from about age 20 to now about age 40. For 20 years, I've been on the court helping players just like you improve. And there's been a part of me, especially over the last month or two, as we've gone through this transition to different types of content, in the back of my mind, I've been wondering, huh, now that I'm kind of by myself and I'm working on my strokes a little bit, why don't I go back to kind of being a player again? And so that got me thinking about entering the tournament finding out like what would happen if I go play against other competitive players at my age, at my level. So that's why I entered the tournament. And this presents all kinds of opportunities for me to bring you along on the adventure, on the journey. There's at least three main different ways that I can share with you how this is going to unfold. I have no idea what's going to happen when I play this event. No idea if I'm just going to get double bageled and that's going to be the end of it or if, I, I don't know, like I, anything could happen. And, and I wanna show you what happens between now and when I play that event. And a couple of things come to mind for me right away. My backhand, I've been continuing to work on that swing. In fact, Tyler, go ahead and overlay. James the other day shot some footage of me. I'm continuing to work on my backhand. I'm gonna do an update video for you on that pretty soon. But what's gonna happen when I go play this at this tournament, my new backhand swing. I have no idea if I'm going to have to just totally abandon it or if I'll actually be able to use it, you know, if it's going to get overpowered or like, you know, what's the story there? I've, I, I have no idea. My mental game, I have really not talked about uh, this much unless you're a, a subscriber to my podcast. Uh, I've, I've had, had a really kind of dark and challenging period as a player where my mental game was just a monster <laughs> and it actually led me to quit my college team late in my senior year. I really, I haven't talked about this at all on the YouTube channel, but what's going to happen when I play this tournament after years and years and years of not being a player, I've learned a tremendous amount over the last 10 years, especially about the mental game. What's going to happen and how am I going to prepare myself mentally for, you know, now I have 200,000 people you know, watching me, I'm going to record these matches at this tournament and let you watch what happens. What's going to happen to, to me mentally when I play, the, play those matches? Am I going to smash my rackets and self-destruct? Or is it going to work out great and I'm going to walk off and smile even, even if I get crushed in the first round? I don't know what's going to happen. And then finally, the lead up to the tournament, I plan on sparring with other players. I'm going to play a challenge match against Ira for sure maybe against other YouTubers, there's starting to become a little bit of, of support for amateur adult players, other YouTubers. Like I've been featuring Dill Plays on the channel here and also uh, Tennis Troll channel here on Essential Tennis. And maybe I'll feature some of those players and play some challenge matches against them to get ready for the tournament. So what I really want to know right now from you with all of these things kind of in mind as ideas in the back of my head, what out of those different options sound the most interesting to you? What would you like to see the most? No matter what, 
I'm going to play this tournament. I'm going to record my matches. I'm going to do breakdowns of how I did, what my competition was like, the mistakes that I made, how I could have done better. I'm going to bring you along with all of that and, and let you be able to, to watch no matter where you are in the world. And so hopefully that sounds exciting to you. But along the way, as we arrive at the actual event, what kind of content would you like to see? How, how would you like to see my preparation? And what parts really sound the most interesting to you? So this is the event, the Racine October Adult Open. I'll be playing uh, open level, the open level draw. Uh, this is October 9th through the 11th in Racine, Wisconsin, Wisconsin which is like was it 45 minutes south of Milwaukee, I think. So kind of halfway between Chicago and uh, Milwaukee. I mean, you can totally show up uh, right here on those dates and watch me play if you want. But either way, I'm going to record it. I've already been in contact with the tournament director there. I'm going to be recording my matches and sharing with you exactly what happens. I'm not, I'm not aware of anybody else having done this before on, on the internet, so I'm excited about it. If this sounds exciting to you, do me a favor and click like, show your support in that small way. It really does, by the way. It really helps the, the channel, it helps me. And in general, over the last month or two, I've appreciated all of your support so much. It's been incredible as I've gone through this transition and made this shift to new content, new focus, new, new approach to the coaching that I'm doing here on YouTube and across the internet. It's really meant so much to me, so thank you for that. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know uh, maybe what ideas or thoughts you have about what you'd like to see between now and October. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next video.